This morning, we're getting a closer look at the impact from last night's storms uh, around West Michigan, especially some of those hardest hit areas right near Battle Creek. Yeah, at least one tornado reported uh, near Marshall, of course. Uh, people there will have to pick up the pieces this morning. Andy Curtis live uh, at that scene for the past few hours, uh, really getting a good look at exactly how much damage there is there. Andy? Yeah, good morning, Janice. Good morning, Elliot. Uh, as we uh, drove out here early this morning before the sun rose at around four o'clock ish, uh, you could see the damage even then in the dark. Big mature trees ripped uh, out of the ground, tipped over power lines, snapped in half, uh, laying across the road. And then as the sun began to rise, the full scope of uh, what families will be dealing with around here in Calhoun County, uh, specifically on 20 Mile Road, uh, began to show themselves uh, debris and trees snapped pretty much in half. We were speaking with the homeowner of this property earlier, and he said that uh, they didn't know exactly what they were going to expect last night, but uh, he did expect the worst. We got the, uh, the alerts on the phone and everything, and uh, so we went in the basement, and next thing you know, we just our ears popped, uh, and then you hear this roar coming down and I didn't know what it was what was going on but yeah it's pretty crazy and uh, so then after all that we come outside and it's it's what you see it's nuts yeah that's what they uh, saw what you're seeing behind me when he uh, finally came outside and realized everything was safe the one in his family was they got safely along with their pets and from the looks of things uh, any livestock that they had on the property made it through the storm he told us they have sheep and uh, some different uh, animals turkey duck uh, ducks we've been seeing all of them walking around without injury so they made it through the storm uh, it sure seems and that does seem to be the case for a few of the other houses in this area we were across the street Siding has been ripped off of that house. Their trailer has been flattened. But what is incredibly uh, uh, wild about this whole scene, to me at least, a little farther down the road, about a mile, two miles, the place looks untouched. People still have their garbage cans out, just like it was a normal day. Nothing happening to a lot of those houses on uh, either side of where we are right now. So uh, just goes to show you how powerful and, I guess, isolated storms like this can be, tornadoes like this can be. Some more good news. Uh, another little bit of silver lining here is that the Cal uh, Calhoun County Sheriff's Department is reporting that no major injuries have been reported so far, but that could be a developing story, and we will continue to follow it here for the rest of the morning and online on our website, fox17online.com. Reporting here from Calhoun County, Andy Curtis, Fox 17 News, back to you guys.